Hello, good morning. <sighs> Monday. I really debated about going to the gym this morning. I really did. I didn't feel well yesterday. Um, may have been a bit feverish yesterday. I don't know. I never took my temperature because I laid on the couch all day, pretty much. Just tired, worn down. I kind of got that, like, it hurts right here, kind of a little bit scratchy chest, throat type thing. Uh, like a cold is coming on, but yet, I don't really know. I am desperate not to get sick, so I rested all day yesterday. I ate half a clove of raw garlic because garlic is incredibly powerful. So, did that. I'll probably be doing some apple cider vinegar shots today and possibly, no, definitely picking up some elderberry syrup. Elderberry, you can pick it up at your local pharmacy. It's over the counter and that's some powerful stuff. Help uh, fight off a cold, flu, strep, you name it. I'm prone to strep. I get it several times a year at times uh, and I really am not eager to deal with that right now. I'm I catch myself saying I don't have time to be sick, but who really ever has time to be sick? So, I mean, I'm not, I do have a busy schedule, but I'm not any more busy than the next person. So, I'm just going to take care of myself, just like I'm taking care of myself with eating right and exercising. I'm going to take care of my health health so that I'm not down and out for too long. It is that time of the year, right? Mississippi, we got this flip-flop of weather. It's hot one day, cold the next. Humidity's all over the place. So, it's, you know, it's kind of to be expected. I did go to the gym this morning. I woke up this morning, with, took kind of an inventory, and I've had a headache, but headache doesn't necessarily equate sick. I mean, I've got the scratchiness, but I, I had a bit more energy than I did yesterday. So I went ahead, got up and went, and I am glad that I went. Um, yeah, I checked my temperature before I went to the gym, made sure I did not have fever because you don't need to be working out if you've got a fever, for sure. Um, at that point, the bigger priority is rest. So I did not have fever this morning. Um, which is good. So I'm pounding water and just doing some of these remedies, these herbal over-the-counter remedies and in hopes that I will get better ASAP. So I've been playing around in the gym with some lower rep ranges and heavier weight and I'm happy to report that that is amazingly successful at helping you lift more weight. So yay! There's a certain point at which your muscle will not get any bigger. It will just get stronger because the muscle fibers within do all this kind of stuff. Um, but at a certain point that if you push past that threshold of that muscle, it's going to have to grow. And I don't want huge muscles as we've discussed before, but I do want a little bit more size because we got to build some more muscle, building that muscle, building that house, that brick house. Um, I want to say three words to you today. Well, more than three words. Let's face it. That's impossible for me. But I want to say three words, and I want this to become your mantra. I've been doing a lot of listening to Tony Robbins and Hal Elrod and just a bunch of different motivational speakers. And there are these three words that are a defining commonality between all these motivational speakers. And they're this theory of can't change it. We walk around with anxiety and frustration and lots of stuff in between, a lot of negative emotions because we are essentially fighting against our present circumstances. I mean, think about it. You leave your house late, later than you intended, you get stuck in traffic, and you're just like, if I'd only just left 15 minutes early. If only, if only. Well, you didn't. You didn't. You are where you are right now. And so with the sooner you can get to a point where you can accept your present circumstances, there will come peace with that. And then you're able to just inject yourself into the present moment. You do that by accepting that there's nothing that you can do to change your present circumstance. Can't change it. Can't change it. Can't change it. So you find yourself fighting against your present circumstance right now. I want you to say those words to yourself. Can't change it. Say them out loud. Seriously. Because when you accept your present circumstance, you inject peace into it and then you can just rock on. You can't change 
what has already happened. The things that are in the past, you can't change them. They are not going to be changed. You, unless you have a time machine, you can't go back in time. You can't. You can't change it. You have to accept it. You have to accept it. What you can change is going forward into the future. So if you've, what you're struggling with in the past is something that you're fighting against, you wish you could change it, you wish you could go back, but you know you can't, you need to work on accepting that. It has happened. It has, it has already happened. Can't change it. But going forward, the choices you make right now and going forward, you have every bit of control over those. Can't change it. You cannot change the past. Accept and move on. Powerful, powerful stuff right there, people. Powerful stuff. And if you get a chance, I would definitely, you know, as cliche as it may sound, these motivational speakers, Tony Robbins, Hal Elrod, there's a bunch of other ones. They know their stuff. They are, they're good. They're really good. And if you are struggling with motivation for your life right now, you don't really know, you're struggling where you are and where you want to go, invest in some self Self-worth, I mean, my gosh, gives you confidence in all different kinds of things. You got control over it. So anyway, I hope y'all have a fabulous Monday. I'm going to head in, get the day started, and pick up some elderberry and take care of myself. I got to cleanse the house. So y'all have a great day. Peace out. I love you.